other ones to do. Because as long as you guys know what the formula for eccentricity is, which E equals C over A, which is not the hardest thing for you guys to memorize, right? You guys have memorized a lot of like crazy stuff. Eccentricity C over A. Pretty sure you can say it to yourself five times and you'll have it memorized. So that's nice because I now know 2 is C and, and 3 is A. Well, guys, to write an equation, all we need is the center, which they already gave us. And we need to know A, B, and the center. And then also we need to know where our major axis is, which they tell us. It's a horizontal major axis, right? So this is like, literally, they're just giving us all the information. So we know that our formula is going to be x minus h squared all over a squared, because this one has a horizontal major axis. So that's our equation. The only thing we need to make sure we know is what is our a, or I'm sorry, our b. So again, we go to our formula. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. c squared is 4 equals a squared, which is 9, minus b squared. So 5 equals b squared. Well, guys, I have my h and my k. I have my b squared. My a is 3. So if a is equal to 3, that means a squared is equal to 9. So look it. I got everything I need. A squared, which is nine plus. Done. Following that, Preston?